Hi, so what I'm going to do is show you how to add your Samsung TV to your Google app and therefore control it via your Google Hub there. So you see all the way in the background, right where my finger is, is my Google Hub. And you can see here in my Google app, I have my TV Samsung Series 6 right here in the Google app and that is my Samsung TV. So I could do, for example, things like, hey Google, turn off my TV. Sure, turning TV Samsung 6 Series 40 off. So you notice that I was able to control my TV via the Google Hub there using my voice. So before you could connect your Samsung TV to the Google Hub here, you have to download the Samsung app called SmartThings. So do that in your iOS or in your Google Play. So once I download the Samsung SmartThings app, I go in and you could add a device, select your television, and what you can do is, so one of the most important things, before you download the app, make sure both the, the television is logged into the same Wi-Fi network as your smartphone. So log into the same Wi-Fi network, download the app, and I just wanna show you some features here. So this is connected via the Wi-Fi, where I could change the channel, you can see in the background I'm changing the channel, you know, and I could do a bunch of other things. Um, so for example, I could pull up YouTube and you can see at the bottom here and it's very neat, the navigation here, I simply swipe. So if I want to move left or right, I could simply swipe and if I want to choose YouTube, I simply tap it. And you notice now YouTube is loading it's, there was an error there in the past. I'm going to wipe that out. And even in the navigation, you could see I'm just simply swiping. And this is all via Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi network. So those are some of the handy things you could do once you have the television connected to the SmartThings app. And you could also toggle and enter in numbers or letters. And there's even some features that are not on the remote. For example, you could pull up a program guide here that shows the times and all of that. But, uh, you know, that's besides the point. I was going on a tangent there. Um, so once you have the app connected via the smart things, as I do here, what you have to do is register that app in your Google Home. So I've pulled up the app in my Google Home. And if I scroll over, you could see I already have my television registered. And the way to do that is simply to hit the add, set up a device, works with Google. And the biggest trick here is what to search for. So what you want to search for is smart things. So I, I was searching for Samsung, for example, and of course, I couldn't find the actual application that connects the TV to the app and then to the Google Hub. So make sure you search for smart things, which, which is that icon right there. And once you search for smart things, you're just able to simply add it. Now I've already added this. It'll just ask you to register the application. So once you do that, you will have the device in whatever particular room that you've placed it in. So I've placed it in the living room, and now I have my TV, and I could simply use the voice and say, Hey Google, turn off the TV. All right, turning TV Samsung 6 Series 40 off. So those are the steps is download the SmartThings app, make sure you have the Wi-Fi connected to the same network, your TV and your phone. And then from there, once you've registered the SmartThings app, to go to Google Home and register that. And um, you know, if you have any questions, send it to me uh, down below and I'll help you out. And uh, you know, please subscribe and thank you for watching.